listen, why don't we go through here? I, I found, as I mentioned, your Medium uh, blog, and I, geez, it's like some of the best written uh, explanations about how volatility is traded, well, how it works, and stuff like that. I, I Let's just start with this. Uh, so you want to trade options, volatility trading 101. Yeah. I, I would love it if you just kind of give us, uh, your, in your words, uh, walk us through this and eventually get us to this volatility gamma theta triangle, which I think was a very unique way of looking at it. And it's something I, I just yeah, love you to highlight. Like, yeah, I, th I think to begin with, I think like people sometimes try to overcomplicate like the, the, the concept of derivatives, okay? Um, I, I, I understand why, because it's a complicated subject, but I, I think that like if you if you can simplify things, try to do that. I, I, I'll give you an, an example because I have uh, two kids, like two daughters, um, 12 year old and nine year old daughters. And they, they know mathematics, but they don't know derivatives market, obviously. Uh, I try to teach them the concept of random walk or Brownian motion. And you would think that learning about Brownian motion requires some, some high-level mathematics and like quantitative understanding, but I was able to do that in a fun way that just explain to them what a uh, uh, Brownian motion is. And they were able to generate um, uh, random samples and like, they, they were just, there was it, it was so fun to them that that, that got them into um, trying to understand how options work. Okay. Okay. So, so basically, like what I wanted to do with, with that like blog post is to, to, to give a, a like a, a like a, I would say uh, derivatives one one or option one one to ex to to explain that options are not that complicated. So basically, when we talk about options, we think about like how options are priced and and how we can use it to 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 make like uh, strategies, right? Like strategies in in volatility uh, in my case. So because when we see um, the the, the 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 formula the black shows formula we we ask ourselves like what the half is this formula how can we understand that but yeah at the end of the day ugly. it's pretty ugly yeah, looking it's for pretty ugly. and if, if if you go through the the the, the actual proofs like the itolima and the partial differential the, you would never understand it. Right. but at the end of the day just we can split that into two parts like the intrinsic value of the option which is how far am i in the money Okay. Okay. So, what what's my current spot? Uh, what's my the, the the distance between the current spot and my strike? Right. Which is bounded by zero, obviously. Yeah. And what's the time value of the option? So the time value is basically time uh, multiplied by the variance, like because because the greater the variance, the more the more valuable the options would be because the right. more the more time and the more the, the 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 more likelihood is that it will go in the money or farther into the money. So right. this is so basically. So I'll just interrupt there. For variance is also volatility. Uh, just it, it's how it's how much the option or how much the underlying moves in price. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I, I, I'm sorry. Yeah. No I <laughs> for me, it's, it goes you. without saying. So uh, I, I don't yeah, mean. No I just wanted to make pay sure. Pay too much those... attention to that. That's right. So so yeah. So basically, wh when we understand those two parts, we can basically price any options on any kind of derivatives, right? Because we know that, like, on any kind of asset. Sorry. So so we have the int the intrinsic value, and we have the time value, and we add, add two of them together, and we get like how much the option should go. So, okay. So basically, if you want to price uh, an add money straddle. Which, which means that you buy the put and you buy the call. So basically, there is a there is a very close like approximation, which is four 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 fifth times spot times uh, volatility times the square root of time. It's just an approximation, so it's 0 0.8 times spot times four times time. Okay. So that tells you how much. Or in, or in plain English, it tells you how much the asset needs to move for you to break even. So if you if if the option costs you let's say ten dollars, uh, the, the the strategy, so it needs to move either uh, up ten dollar or down ten dollar for you to make money of a single day. Okay. Okay. 
So that's that's called the break even straddle or the added money straddle break even. Okay. And, so, and just so the people understand, it's how much the, the, the underlying has to move on a regular basis through yeah. the life of the option as yeah, opposed yeah, yeah. to just like buying it and leaving it. This yeah, is this yeah, is yeah. this is kind of the pricing that's implied in there about how volatile that underlying yeah, security yeah. will be during the life of that option. Yeah, exactly. So if we price like a one day options, um, let's say at a 16 vol, and every time that you speak with a trader who wants to give you an example, we'll give you a 16 vol because it is the easiest thing to do because <laughs> it implies that the 1% moves in the underlying, right? That's right. Like that's like the, the rule of 16 goes for every single uh, option trader that, that, I've, that I've known. In my they, life, they all love the 16 because it's easier to figure out yeah, how, many, it's how, many, easier, how yeah. much it's going to move on a daily basis. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so let's say that if we, if we price an option at a six, at a vol of 16% annualized in annualized term over one day, it should move approximately 1% times 0.8. So it's 0.8% in one day for you to break even. Okay. Obviously, as we go, as, as time, as, as our options goes farther, like, as time goes from one day to 10 days, we need to move farther, right? obviously, because okay. it grows, it grows by, by the square root of time. Right. Anyway, so, so this is basically the, 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 the first thing that we need to understand when we, when we trade options or when we price options. How much is a straddle? What's the price of, the, of a straddle? And how, how do we price it? Then, after we understand what's, what an option price is, we need to understand the Greeks, right? Because every option has derivatives. So how much does the option change with, with respect to, to the spot change, the downline, to the underlying spot? How much does this change with, with regards to this change in the, in the volatility? So all those Greeks are, some, are, are, are very important for us when we trade options. Right, okay. Because it, first of all, it helps us uh, approximate how much are we going to uh, gain or lose uh, over us uh, with respect to changing the underlying uh, parameters? And second, because we want to uh, to, to risk manage our option book, like right. general. So, so what do you, you talk to us about the volatility gamma theta triangle? Yeah, yeah, How those yeah, yeah. Three interact. Yeah. So 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 the way I see it, there is a a, a very nice triangle between volatility theta and gamma so theta for anyone who, who doesn't uh, who, who doesn't know it's the the, the the decay of the option so what's the time value of your options how much how much do you lose over one day or gain over one day passage in time the gamma is how much like the the second order approximation of the underlying spot so how much does your delta changes with with respect to spot and that's the, those two theta and gamma. They are very important for us. Why? Because when we have a lot of gamma, that means that you don't need to have a significant move to um, to to make money or to lose money. It depends on the opposition. And when you have a, a, a high theta, you, it means that you get you get compensated or you pay a lot of money for holding the options. Now, both gamma and theta, they they are driven by one single factor, which is volatility. So this is how it goes. So the higher the volatility, the higher your theta is, but the lower your gamma is. Why? Because when, when you have a high volatility, the, options lose, the option loses a lot of decay every single day that, 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 of time passage. Right, okay. Because the time value is, is very significant. Like the higher the volatility, the more significant your time value is. The, on the on the flip side, you have a you have a very low gamma, because the the higher the volatility, the gamma the gamma just decays. Uh, like I, I wouldn't say exp exponentially, but it decays significantly compared to having a low volatility. Okay, I'm with you. Okay, so so what what we need to ask ourselves is okay, so. At some point, we have a high volatility, so we have we have less we have less gamma and we have more theta. 
So, so if we own the options, it would take us a very significant move to break even on our options, right? Because, like, let's say that we have vol at forty, then it means that, like, if we own the options, then we need to pay a lot of of theta, but our gamma is relatively low. Anyway, so I came up with with a with kind of of a triangle relationship that says that. If if I want to own an option, I want to have uh, a low volatility because then I will have a lot of gamma and pay less theta. But if I want to sell options, I want to have a high volatility and then I will have a lot of theta and be short very, very low gamma. Right. Does okay. that make any sense to yeah, you? Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. So so this is what I talk about when I talk about like the, the gamma the gamma theta uh, vol triangle so like, volatility just drives both both gamma and theta and we just need to understand how they work and how right. they interact 